All right, we are now off to a tour specially yes. curated by my friend here, Iris. So this is not a typical tour that you can find here in Da Nang, but we will go around the most scenic areas in Da Nang, curated by Iris. Oh. Let's go! It's early, the city is still waking up, and so am I. But there's something magical about being up early in the morning, watching the world come to life. The streets are quiet, the air is cool, and the adventure is just beginning. Let's see how the Nang's lifeblood flows in and out of this coastal city. Vietnam is a country built by the sea. With over 3,000 kilometers of coastline, the sea has shaped its people and their way of life. Here in Da Nang, the Mikey Fishing Village is a window into that tradition. This isn't just a village, it's part of a network of coastal communities with more than 5,000 fishers in Da Nang alone. Every day, they venture out into the South China Sea, their boats carrying with them the hopes of families and communities. The catch they bring in, it's not just for Da Nang. It supplies seafood to cities far beyond, connecting this humble village to the rest of Vietnam. It's easy to romanticize this life, but the reality is, it's hard work, long hours, unpredictable weather, and no guarantees. But it's also a way of life that's been passed down through generations. Every cast of the net is a lesson in patience, in resilience, a reminder that sometimes life's greatest rewards come when you wait. Now, we take to the winding roads of Sontra Peninsula. The city of Da Nang stretches out below us, it's small yet vast. From here, you can see it all, the mix of modernity and tradition, the pulse of the city intertwined with the calm of the sea. And it's in moments like this, high above it all, that they realize how much perspective matters. So we just stopped here in the middle of the road to take a video and a moment with the beautiful flowers, bougainvillea flowers, here atop a mountain in Da Nang. In front of me is a very beautiful view of the beach and of the horizon. It's so beautiful, guys. And is there anything more beautiful than the flowers and me? None, definitely. So let me run <laughs> when you're down there in the middle of everything life can feel overwhelming but up here it all looks so small so manageable it's a good reminder that sometimes we just need to step back to see the bigger picture for the second stuff just the view red iris again and look at that ah uh, Ooh, Come here, right. guy. A wedding photo waiting for <laughs> you. <laughs> Iris is actually waiting for you to come here. Just. Oh, sorry. Just give us a comment. Comment down below if you want to have Iris as your tour guide when you come to Danang. All right. <laughs> Let's now, go. on to the next stop. Go! Next stop, Lin Ong Pagoda, a place of deep spiritual significance for the people of Da Nang. Built on 12 hectares of land, it's more than just a religious site. It's a sanctuary of peace. At its heart stands the Lady Buddha, also known as the Goddess of Mercy. At 67 meters tall, she watches over the sea and the fishermen who depend on it, offering protection and hope. Standing beneath her, you can't help but feel small, but in a comforting way. It's a reminder that no matter how turbulent life may get, there's always something bigger than us, guiding us, protecting us. Wait a minute, did you subscribe to my channel yet? Oh, please hit that subscribe button now. Thank you. Did you subscribe yet? Please. There you go. Click subscribe now, the notification bell too, there, 
Thank you. As the day unfolds, we make a stop at Dong Din Garden Museum, an oasis nestled in the Sontra Peninsula. This garden museum is more than just a respite from the city. It's a journey into the Nang's past, a reflection of its roots as a coastal village. With a refreshing drink in hand, we wander through lush greenery surrounded by ancient trees and traditional houses that tell the story of a time before the city we know today. The museum traces the evolution of life in the Nang, from fishing communities who lived by the rhythm of the tides to the vibrant urban landscape that thrives here now. Each artifact, each relic, is a window into a simpler time, reminding us beneath the modern skyline lies a history shaped by the sea. Here, you feel the soul of the Nang, its connection to nature, and the quiet strength of its people. It's really a full of coffee. <laughs> a glass of coffee. Oh, I think, uh, when I'm done with this cup of coffee, I will wait until midnight. <laughs> <laughs> it's a peaceful stop, one that allows us to pause and reflect on how places evolve. Just like people, sometimes we grow and change with the currents, and sometimes we are like the sea ever present quietly powerful wait a minute my visitor i'll just fetch some water <laughs> nice oh take care okay ciao and now, we climb Haiwan Pass, a legendary road that cuts through the mountains, offering some of the most breathtaking views in Vietnam. In just 45 minutes, we experience four seasons. The warmth of the lowlands, the crisp air of the peaks, mist rolling in like a gentle whisper, and a soft rain welcoming us as we descend. They say that Haiwan Pass is the dividing line between weather systems and you can feel it as you ride. One moment the sun is shining, the next you are enveloped in clouds. It's a reminder that life too is constantly shifting. One moment you are in the sun, the next in the clouds. But both are beautiful in their own way. Our final stop takes us to Mo Waterfall nestled near the peaceful Lang Ko Laguna. It's the perfect place to cool off, swim, and enjoy the natural beauty of Vietnam. Here, the water cascades over the rocks, clear and cool, inviting us to pause, to reflect. Waterfalls are nature's reminder that even when we are falling, we are still moving forward. And sometimes, the falls are necessary to find our true path. As I stand here, I'm reminded of the importance of taking time to rest, to let the cool waters refresh our spirit before we continue on our journey. As we ride back to Dana, the sun dips below the horizon, casting the city in a golden glow. It's been a day of discovery, of connection, of life lived on the road. And as we come to the end of this journey, I'm reminded that every trip Every adventure teaches us something new, not just about the world, but about ourselves. So we're now riding a bus, and we're going to where? Yes, uh, this air an option for you if you don't want to ride the motorbike, go to the harbor back and it's so dangerous or you're so tired, you can do this summit. That will trains first your motorbike. And then turn for you want to sell them. So we're now on a bus going back to Dana, but right now uh, our motorbike was in a separate truck because we're going through the tunnel because motorbikes are not allowed in the tunnel. Okay, so that's the scenario. So we're almost done with our trip. Thank you 
for joining me on this incredible motorbike journey. If you enjoyed today's adventure, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your own travel stories in the comments. Until next time, keep exploring. The road may end here for today, but the journey never really ends. It's in every step we take, every connection we make, and every moment we live.